Hello and welcome to a new video on uh, Zojo. So today I'm going to show you how to scale an image to fit into a, a canvas. Uh, so first let's take a look at uh, the problem here that we are trying to solve. So uh, technically when you have a canvas and you would like to place an image into it, uh, you would go to the inspector and then go to backdrop option here and then you will browse to an image of a certain size say for example we pick this image and as you see that the image has a bigger size than this canvas so um, when we run this uh, we're going to notice that the image is not showing um, only parts of it is showing in this canvas so to fix this issue uh, we need to work with adjusting the uh, width and the height of this image to be matching the width and the height uh, or the dimensions of this canvas. So if you take a look, uh, this is the canvas. This is the, uh, these are the dimensions. So the width is 338 by 272. Uh, and if we want to take a look at our image, which is called watermelon, uh, it has these dimensions, 757 by 689. So what we want to do is we want to type some code to redraw this image in that canvas with matching dimensions as the canvas. Okay, so in order for us to do that, uh, we're actually going to handle this uh, by using uh, the event handler. So when uh, the uh, application loads and the canvas opens, uh, that's why we're going to use the open um, event handler. We want uh, to have that image to be resized. So in order for us to do that, we first need to create a picture object. Uh, so we create a picture object and we're going to set its uh, dimensions to the uh, canvas's width and height. So we're going to say me dot uh, width um, uh, comma me dot height. So uh, me here refers to the canvas that is basically containing this code, that is executing this code. Uh, and then we're going to use uh, this object. We're going to use its graphics, uh, draw a picture. So it's a draw a picture. And uh, the parameters that we're going to give here, first, we're going to give the image, the name of the image, which is watermelon. And uh, then we're going to give X and Y of the uh, destination. The destination is basically the canvas. That's where we want to place this image. So uh, the X and Y will be zero comma zero. We start at the top left corner. And then uh, we're going to go all the way to uh, me dot width, so it's me dot width, comma, me dot height. Uh, and that's the width and the height of uh, this canvas. So we're going to draw our image starting at uh, zero, comma, zero, and going all the way to me dot width, me dot height. And then uh, we're going to give the uh, source x and y. The source x and y are the source of other basically X and Y of the image itself, the watermelon image. <clears throat> uh, and then we're going to uh, use the width and the height of the image. So we're going to do watermelon. So it's a watermelon dot uh, width, comma, uh, watermelon dot height. Okay. So that is the name of my image. So it's watermelon that with watermelon that height. And uh, the last thing that we want to do here is that we want to set the backdrop of this canvas. So we're going to say me dot backdrop. Uh, we're going to set it to be equal to this object P that we have uh, created. Okay. So now watch when we run this. Uh, first of all, we have an error here to fix, and that is a syntax error. So that is this comma here. That's an extra comma. So now when we run this, uh, notice that the image is scaled to fit canvas. Okay, so now 
no matter what I do here, I adjust basically the canvas width and height, the image is still going to be uh, redrawn to uh, fit into uh, the dimensions of that canvas. So uh, this is just a quick uh, tutorial on how to fix this issue. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video uh, and this you found this helpful, please hit the subscribe button for future tutorials. And peace.